You're watching Ozstar. Good day, guys, and welcome back to Ozstar. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Foxtel 4K channel, and if you've got a compatible 4K TV, but you're having the constant error of it saying not supported, or it's giving you the 4K channel in 1080p resolution. We're going to tell you just how to fix this and what the cause of the problem is. So, one, it's actually not your Foxtel box, because I've seen on the computer the community, a lot of people are blaming the Foxtel box. It's actually not. It's actually a budget TV you may have purchased. So just say you bought a budget Kogan TV, a Hisson TV, a Vivo TV, a Senyo TV, and these are the main TVs that actually have this issue. And basically what will happen when we go over into our fo actual Foxtel box and go over to the option, okay, and we go to picture, it's going to say 1080i, but then we'll have the 4K option. But as you notice, we've got on 4K and it's still not giving us any 4K resolution. It's still going to give us the 1080p resolution. Okay, so we'll just hit um, display on the TV and see we've still got 1080p. Now we'll show you just how to fix this. Now, hopefully you guys have a similar option to this on your TV because you will need to actually turn on the enhanced option on your TV. Okay, and some other TVs have this other option separate that you need to turn on too, especially the Hissons. They have a 2. What a 2.0 uh, HDMI you need to turn on as well, and it's all in the one setting on this particular TV. So, first of all, what we want to do is go over to our menu. So, just basically hit menu on your remote right here. So, just hit menu, okay? So, as you see, we've got a few different options now. A lot of people always think it's under the picture settings, it actually isn't. So, what you want to do, you want to go over to um, system, okay? So, head over to system. From system, we need to go over to HDMI settings. Now, if you don't have HDMI settings, it's just like the Hissons, it's under advanced settings. So, this particular TV is under HDMI settings. From HDMI settings, as you see, everything else is turned on. So, if you've got any of these options on your TV and you don't have them on, I would definitely recommend turning those on. Then, when we see down the bottom, we see HDMI 2.0 format. Now, as you see, it's on standard. We need to turn it on to extended. Enhance actually, not extended. Okay, put it on enhance. As you see, the picture will go black, and now it's going to have enhanced picture. Now it's going to be in total 4K resolution. So now basically, all you can do is just hit exit on the TV. So now when we click on the resolution on the TV, it should say we're running 4K. As you see, it says 4K right there. And now what you can do, you can now go over to your settings in your Fox IQ4. And go over to your picture, and you can always just make sure that is on 4K, or you can have it on auto. I recommend having it on 4K, that way it's always going to run 4K. Okay, so that's now the 4K setting all up. So now if we, uh, as you see now, that's going to start running in 4K, and now it's not going to run in 1080p. So if we just hit stop on the remote... It's now going to be running a 4K stream. Now, even though I had it on the standard, it was running a 1080p, it was actually downscaling the 4K stream. So now we're running full 4K on the TV. So make sure if you've got that setting turned off or it's on standard, make sure you put it to enhance. That way you're going to be able to watch the best of your 4K, as well as you can watch the best of your HD. You'll be able to get the best um, quality right there. So we'll just pause the stream. So basically that's everything set up, um, but that's all I need to show you now. Uh, with that, and basically when you turn your TV off, so uh, it'll turn the, the um, TV off as well when I turn the box off, and then we'll turn it back on. Just just to show you, no settings have been changed, they'll all be saved. So as you see at the top, we've got the exact resolution of the stream, and now we're back into the live um, 4K channel. So yeah, that's how you exactly do it. So again, I will just show you one more time just how to do it. So again, you just click on menu. Okay, this is on a Kogan TV, so if you've got any 4K Kogan TV, you should have the same option. Again, go to HDMI settings, and basically just click on the bottom button right here. Okay, so that's basically all you have to do there, and if that's all turned on, make sure it's not on standard. Now, another thing that, that you do need to keep in mind, if you do change HDMI, so just say this is on HDMI, just HDMI 1, just say you go to HDMI 4. You need to do the exact same settings, okay? Because it's going to go back to standard for that next HDMI. What you're going to have to do is go over to that HDMI, HDMI 4, 
go back to the standard option and make sure you put it back to um, the 2.2 enhanced resolution. If you don't have it on enhanced, you won't be able to get the best of your 4K. Basically, you'll be able to watch 4K, but in 1080p resolution, and you don't want to be able to do that. You want to watch it in full 4K resolution. Now, what's weird enough is the 4K channel doesn't load up if you've got a 1080p um, TV. But if you've got a 4K TV, the TV is happy to downscale it into 1080p, which is a bit weird why it does that. Because it actually downscales, because you can see on the screen, you can see a bit of pixelation on the screen how it downscales it. Especially, uh, you can actually really see it if I zoomed in, when it is downscaled into 1080p. It does downscale the live 4K channel quite a lot. So make sure you have it on enhance all the time on your TV. But if you've got a, a smart TV or a, a pretty expensive TV, it should do this automatically. Just a bunch of TVs don't seem to be able to do this. So yeah, that's everything in today's video. And hopefully you liked today's video. If you've got any questions at all, let us know down below. And thanks again for watching Ostar.